While certainly full of surprises, uh, definitely uh, Janie Wirtz is still yet to let me down. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about That Way Lies Camelot, uh, which is a collection of short stories uh, by Janie Wirtz. And this is now, this is the penultimate book of Janie's solo works uh, that I need to read. And uh, I'm really excited to be reading Master of White Storm here, uh, coming up in April as well. Uh, but I, I've been meaning to get to this, and I meant to last year, uh, and then realized that I actually had not. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to talk about it. Side note, uh, I have my I hardcover of Song of the Mysteries, which is available for pre-order now, my official ARC copy, uh, and I'm super happy about it as well, so check that out. But anyway, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So first, I, I, have, to, I have to show off the cover here, because it's just absolutely beautiful. I remember actually talking to Janie uh, about this, and she said, uh, this actually came about because she had this painting uh, and needed something to use it for, and so they ended up doing this collection uh, in order to, to just for this one. And uh, this was very much uh, not what I was expecting. I remember originally when I'd heard about this, I just thought, oh, this is probably like an Arthurian legend thing. I didn't realize it was a collection of short stories. Uh, so that is the thing I will note. Uh, is because when I was looking at reviews for this, some people I think didn't realize it was a collection of short stories, and that's what it is. So the, the title is one of the short stories. It's the last one, uh, which we will talk about a little bit. Uh, but this is otherwise a collection of different things, including uh, there are several uh, shorts that she had done for ElfQuest uh, kind of collections and short stories, which I've never actually read uh, any of those. So that was kind of interesting, uh, just writing in a kind of existing world right there. And then there were also several uh, from something called The Fleet, which is a sci-fi collection, which I was looking into, and it looks like actually a ton of, uh, they did a ton of compilations and had a, a ton of different authors uh, that did those as well. So things that I'm, I'm kind of curious uh, to see more because uh, I really do, after reading those ones, I really am like, I, I really want to read uh, Janie writing a full-on sci-fi uh, because it was just really interesting just because I've read everything but one and, uh, it, you know, primarily fantasy is, is what you have with, with Janie. And so seeing the, the sci-fi stuff was just really interesting. Uh, and what was set up there I, I thought was really cool as well. The sci-fi ones, they they are, they continue. Uh, and the ElfQuest ones did too, uh, to an extent as well. But it, the, the sci-fi ones uh, start with you have a, uh, a skip runner who's like, you know, a smuggler, that kind of thing, immediately giving me like Firefly vibes. Uh, and then you have... Uh, a, a low uh, member of basically the uh, the military force, and he's trying to capture him for the notoriety. And so you have you know the the kind of cat and mouse type of game, except uh, with the officer being outsmarted, uh, of course, by uh, Mac James, our, our skipper over there. But uh, the 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 depth you get to the characters, and I think the the choice to to follow it from that perspective, I also thought was really interesting. Uh, and just as always, seeing the the world building that you get in these stories, I thought was so fascinating. So even in the ones that are uh, in existing worlds, plus the uh, the just kind of other stories where you can just tell that uh, she's really just kind of experimenting and having uh, fun playing around with different ideas and themes. Some things here you can kind of see uh, bit glimpses of and bits and pieces of things that you'll find in her other work as well. But even from the first story here uh, called Wayfinder, just the in a short amount of time seeing the the world and interesting things that she's creating, uh, which this uh, just there's a whole mythos to the, the world that's set up there. Uh, it has to do with uh, a Wayfinder who is somebody who can always find their way and navigate over land, see like know where things are. And uh, what happens because people want to use that for not so good things. And so you have like that base plot, but then also just the descriptions of the world setup. Uh, just really, really impressive as always with uh, what you have here. And it's it's a very diverse set of stories, which I think is interesting as well. And uh, I, I'm always hit or miss with uh, short story collections. Uh, and in here too, it's, uh, you know, you might not, you might not feel every single one here, but it, H1 was, I feel like, unique and interesting. Uh, and, you know, it's jammy, so you know it's well written. So uh, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, if there was any doubt uh, whatsoever uh, of this not getting a five star, which it, it probably would have anyway, but the last story, That Way Lies Camelot, 
also was not really what I was expecting uh, whatsoever. Uh, it's just a, a heartbreaking story uh, about uh, a young boy who has cancer. Uh, it sounds like, too, the, the story was dedicated to uh, a relative of Janie's who went with, through that with their with their child uh, as well and it's just the the story is just it's 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 an emotional gut punch it was so well written and just beautiful and uh it's probably one of my all-time favorite short stories uh after reading that because uh which one of one of my other ones is the the paper menagerie which also was like a really sad one this one though um I, I will say I feel like was sadder. Uh, it's, wait, that's not a sad contest, I guess, there with it. But, oh my gosh, just that story took me off guard completely. But it was, uh, it was such such a well-written and just fantastic short story as well. And uh, overall, I had a really good time with this as well. It was, like I said, uh, there's a mix of sci-fi and fantasy. There are some that are a little bit longer, some that are a little bit shorter, including there's one particularly short one. Uh, and you, you're just getting different bits of uh, uh, Janie Wirtz, her life experience, things she wants to explore, themes, as well as stuff that was included in collections as well previously, uh, where it's, you know, exploring writing in different worlds as well. So I think, honestly, just a, a great way to sample uh, some of her writing uh, and try some things out. Of course, you know, you're not going to get the full shebang with the short stories, and I, I feel like it's Reading short stories are not always the best way to gauge an author's work, but I think if you're just you, you're wanting to try out some things uh, and see some of the stuff Jane can do, this is a good one to check out. Now, I will note, this hardcover is not in print, uh, and so it's kind of difficult to find. I still can't believe I happen to find, find this in a half price books. Super happy about it, but you can still get the paper book, uh, paper book, paperback book, uh, several places online. Like I, You can do Blackwell's, Barnes & Noble online has them. So if you are interested, you can't find it. You just probably won't see it on Amazon um, unless you're getting like a used copy. But you can still buy it new uh, from those places. So definitely one to check out. Uh, and since you know, I'm talking about Jamie, don't forget, uh, Song of the Mysteries is available for pre-order. Now it is coming out in May, and also you can pre-order uh, Curse of the Mystery, which will be up very soon uh, on audio. That's coming here this month in April, so both of those are available for pre-order now. I uh, figure it's a good time to mention that here <laughs> as well. I'll probably mention that whenever we talk about Master White Star once I get that read this month as well. That really is it, though, for this one. Uh, so let me know your uh, thoughts on short stories in general. I'm assuming most people have not read this, but I'd be curious your your thoughts on short stories because it's something I've been really hit or miss on. And then also with, uh, like, the compilations where it's an existing world different authors write in for short stories. What do you think of those? Have you read some of those? Have you read any Elf Quest or the fleet that these stories I was talking about, uh, some of them in this book, come from? Uh, really curious, just because I'm not super well-read with uh, a lot of different short stories, but it's something I'm, I've, I've become more interested in as time it's gone on but anyway like i said let me know your thoughts in the comments make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it check the link in the description as always for the wizardly enclave discord if you want to chat books whether this book other books really anything at all it's a lot of fun and we'd love to have you and of course if you enjoy my content make sure to subscribe <laughs>